I wonder if Rachel has anything to do with this. Dad, I need to talk to you about something. Shoot. Well, about my semester break and my plans. <laughs> you know, I used to use my semester break to get the flu or something. <laughs> I'm glad you're not following my lead. So what's up? Well, I'm going to go away for a few days. Where? And with whom? To the mountains. With Kevin. <clears throat> not a chance, Look, Rachel. I am going. I know you don't like it, and I knew you wouldn't when I told you, but... Dad, I'm 21 years old. I can go where I want, with whom I want, when I want. Look, Rachel, I am not blind to the fact that you are a grown woman, but I see more of the world than you do. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Kevin Buchanan isn't the only problem. Oh, no? Is it any white guy that I might want to go out with? No, Rachel, it's Kevin and that fraternity pack that he runs around with. I mean, they are overprivileged, smart-mouthed, arrogant little brats. Now, that's real reasonable, Dad. I mean, what an unbiased assessment, Mr. District Attorney. Rachel, do I, have to, do I have to point out to you what I had to put a stop to at Rhodes the other day with Kevin? So they, they get lit up like a Christmas tree, and they go out looking for skulls to bust here, there, everywhere. What, you're going to protect me from them? Well, you're damn straight. What, for the rest of my life? Look, I moved away from Mom and Chicago because she didn't have time for me. But you, you have this stranglehold on me. I can't win with either one of you. Look, if you can't find some faith in me and trust me, especially when it comes to Kevin, I'm going to have to move out on you like I did with Mom. Excuse me, darling. Don't you dare put me in the same camp as your father. Nora, this is between Rachel and me. You just stay out of it. The brief on the Fishman case. The door was open. I could hear you halfway down the block, so don't you dare, Hank Gannon, tell me to stay out of it when the whole neighborhood's in on it. What's he shouting about, anyway? I just want to go away with Kevin for a few days during semester break to study, and he's trying to stop me. Well, she is in college now, and she is old enough to make her own choices. You know, I don't believe you. You walk into the middle of an argument, you don't know what's going on or what started it, and you, you pick sides, and then you start throwing around your, your opinions uninvited. Look, I expected you to, to take sides with Rachel against me, but I thought that you would at least give a little thought to our daughter's welfare before you start spouting off at the mouth. I mean, Rachel could be halfway to hell before you knew about it. Look, I'm not halfway Rachel's to hell. Rachel's welfare is all I care about. And care and suffocating, there's a difference. You should learn it. Would you stop it? Look, I can't believe that this is still going on. I'm just something you two argue about. Mom, look, I was in the middle of a discussion with Dad, and I want to finish it with him. So I will call you later. Yes, but Rachel, I'm backing you up. I know, I know, I know, and thank you, but I don't need it. I'm going to take care of this myself. Bye. Dad, you and I have to have a serious talk. Dad, it's... It's not like I have a long, sordid history of bad judgment. If I haven't earned your trust now, then, then I never will. Rachel, it's, it's not that I don't trust you. Well, you may not think so, but it is. You impose your iron will on my life now, still. And all that means to me is that you think that I'm not capable of making the right choices for myself. Baby. Rachel, I love you. And I'm very proud of you. Why can't you get that? Because love and pride are not trust. And as long as you keep doing this, the second-guessing me and treating me like I can't make my own decisions, then, then I don't know if I can stay here. Well, let, let me just say one more thing about Kevin McCannon. <laughs> no, no, see, it's always one more thing. Just let it go. Oh, Ricky. No, please, just do it now. 
Just this one thing. Fine. Okay. Besides the obvious problems with Kevin Buchanan and all the yelling that we've done to each other, Kevin is a young man with, with a family. He's got a baby and an ex-wife. Now, don't you worry about how that, that complicates things? No. Don't you think maybe you ought to? Well, don't you think that maybe there's a reason I don't worry and you're the one that needs to get a clue? I mean, I'm not worried because I know Kevin. Can't say that for you. I know enough. No, you know about you and Mom, and that makes you the expert on all relationships, excuse me, interracial ones. Now, I am going to the mountains with Kevin. Just accept that. Rachel. Come on, Ricky. Isn't there anything I can say? Yes. What's that? You can say, have a great time, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs>